Today is a bright sunny day and I'm sitting here in front of our church. One of our church members wants to have that video made, the one you're about to watch, uh, suggested that I should have uh, showed where that community was in relation to the church. Besides that little map I have at the, uh, at the very front of the video. So I told him, sure, I might run over here real quick and do a little video showing where it was. And this time I'm shooting out my windshield instead of my side window. And if it seems a little blurry now, it's because it's dirty. It ain't because the tent's peeling off like it is in my side window. I'm explaining that a little later in the video. You know, ain't seen that yet. Right, you leave our church, you turn right out of the parking lot, you go down to Malloy Road, which is the first street on the right. And right after you make a turn, I guess it's three or four hundred feet from where you turn at, you come across those duplexes, which I've mentioned. I'm trying to turn my camera so you can see it a little bit. And uh, later in the video, and you're in the community prayer walk area I'm driving you through the neighborhood which we did our prayer walk in as soon as I get my camera facing right you have a uh, good number of older homes in here And all these little dead end roofs. Okay, this is the end of the road. And they got them some signs up that says no turnaround. It's fine with me. I won't go on their property and turn around. That's what happens when you drive a big pickup. It's a little tough turning around at times. Actually, a candy needs to make that a cul de sac. This is the actual street that uh, I walked. 
we had several teams throughout here and the team I was on walked down through here that tell you that when you're doing prayer walk or doing any kind of canvassing or anything like that don't ever go out alone I don't care how nice the neighborhood is always go out in pairs I tell you there's a reason Jesus sent his disciples out in pairs okay so this always take somebody with you there's a lot, better, lot less chance of something happening Now I'm going to ask that uh, you also pray for this area. We would like to uh, bring as many people to Christ as we can. This is right around the corner from our church. This area needs a little bit of help. There's a new house going up there, but it looks like work on it's been stopped for quite a while. All these little side roads here are dead end streets. And this street here is a step up from the street that we started out on. Apparently. When I came in, the sign said this was dead end. And I guess it is. I haven't seen signs of a lot of children back in here. Normally you'll see bicycles and trampolines and other toys about. I believe this can be dead end too.
and then ask for you that you pray for this area and ask that the Holy Spirit will move so that uh, I'm just got here picking up pecans or what um, so we can touch this area that's what he's doing he's picking up pecans I guess pecans You ain't seen the guy I'm talking about yet. There he is right there. really like to be able to come back here and test a lot of these folks on the day that we came out and did our prayer walk Pastor Tom who was with the team I was on did lead somebody to Christ which was a great thing I always find it very interesting. I love to watch people who really know how to witness do the do their witnessing. Hmm. That property there has been transferred to the land bank for unpaid taxes. Well, that happens. You hate it for property on. And we don't understand governments taking houses for back taxes. Because at some point in the future, the property is going to sell and they'll get all their back taxes plus interest when it sells. So they aren't risking anything, but the people they take the property from lose a whole lot. So it just don't make a lot of sense to me. You got houses back in here which are anywhere from pretty good shape down to pretty bad shape. Oh, this road ends right here too. Didn't realize that. And here's one that's in pretty bad shape. It's done falling in. Oh, interesting. They put a uh, center line down this road down to where it turns into grass. Of course, it's a no passing zone.
We're headed back out now. Now here's a group of duplexes. Now for a prior event we did, I not went by and knocked on every one of those doors myself. I'd like to pray for them too. For the occupants of these. Let me explain something to you. People who live under these conditions or people living under any conditions. Except in Christ, it may not change the circumstances under which they live. But what it will change is their attitude towards those circumstances. They'll uh, be more grateful for what they do have and more appreciative of it. And there'll be less hate for what they don't have. And their entire lives will just be better because of their change in attitude. I spent a lot of years in ministry now and I've learned that you don't often see God change circumstances, but he'll almost always change attitudes. Well, I'm gonna call that the end of my little tear. I hope you enjoyed it.